Greetings and salutations! I am Janet from World Anvil and this is a very quick guide to using the World Anvil mention system, placeholder system and purple button to link all of your articles together on World Anvil. We are talking about those little hot link things you may have seen where you can click on them and it leads you to another article. It's super important for world building and it's really easy. I'm going to show you how. So as I've mentioned, there's three different ways. We're going to start with the mention system and uh, let me know which one is your favorite. All right. It's time to light up the forge. <laughs> Bloop. Here I am. It's like magic. So we are going to start with the mention system. Let's create a character. And this is Demetrius's world, Lyra. We are going to call him Morn. That seems like a good name. And he is going to be a forest goblin. So let's start with Morn is a at and then three letters. And this is how you do a mention. So just one more time that was, and you press escape to get out of that menu, at, and then three letters. You see, even with this, it was just two. So I'm going to select Forest Goblin, which is one of my published articles. It could be private or it could be in public, but it needs to be a published article rather than a draft. And there we go, magic, it's linked. That's simple. So. I am going to uncheck this as a draft, save changes, and we are going to see, as it loads, in the view mode, Morn is a forest goblin. When I mouse over this, you can see that it's, um, ooh, I did a terrible job on that. There we go, you can see a little bit about the forest goblins there, or I can click on this link now, and it will take me straight to the forest goblin page. But, what if I want it not to say Morn is a forest goblin, but I want another text that will link to the forest goblin article. So for example, Morn is a small green snot colored humanoid. You wouldn't love me if I wasn't gross. You know it. So let's save that again. Let's refresh this article, which is the article I'm working on. You can now see Morn is a small green snot colored humanoid, but when I mouse over it, it's still going to, ah, again, sorry, my mouse is terrible, still going to the forest goblin article. And let's just double click on that just to prove it. Boom, there we go. Forest goblins, they come from above. So that is really it to the mention system. If you already have an article and you know what you want to link in, then it's that easy, super, super simple. But maybe we want to link in an article that doesn't exist yet. This is placeholders, okay? Placeholders are a great way to create a, um, a stub that can become an article. These are added to the to-do list. So do you know what? I'm just going to show you, and then I'm going to show you what it does. So let's give Morn, ooh, I'm doing the green screen. Let's give Morn a friend. Morn's best friend is called Sticky. Seems appropriate. So if I want Sticky to potentially become an article in the future, I can write at Sticky. I don't have an article called Sticky, so the mentions drop down does not come up. And now I can write character. What I've done there is I have the at at the beginning. I have the name that I want the article to have. And then here in brackets, I've put the article type. Now, maybe I want to do a species or an organization. You can check out all the template types. Remember, on the summary, I think we're actually just about to change this to uh, create, but it's going to be in the second place. And also, I think that here in reference tags, which is on every article, you can check out lots and lots of information here. Here we go. How to do a placeholder. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And that's what I wanted. So right at the bottom, there is the templates list. So it says very clearly how you create it. So just in case you forget, you can go and double check. But this is the full list of the template types that you can create by using the placeholder system. So even if you forget or you're not sure, you can always check that out in the um, BB code reference on any article that you are editing. So let's have a look at this now. We're going to save changes again. We are going to view our person. 
so we can see what the article looks like to other people. And you can see now, Morn is a small green coloured snot goblin, um, and that is linked. He also has a friend called Sticky. Now when I mouse over this, nothing pops up because I haven't linked any articles yet. But whenever I want to, I can go to this page, I can click this, and it will open a new template of this type with this name that I can create the article from. In addition, let's go check out my to-do list. So we are going to go down here to the to-do list in the left-hand side. There he is, sticky. And you can increase the importance, that is to say, put it up into the orange or the red category, which is increased importance, by clicking the up button, priority move up. And you can click the down button, priority move down, to move it to blue and purple, which are the less important ones. So whenever you want to, you can go and click on this, again, either from the to-do list or from the presentation, and it creates a new character article for Sticky. So let's write, Sticky is a at forest goblin, because that's the mention system, and the best friend of Morn. You see how easy that looks? So now we have mention system, which is where you write at and then three letters. Any article that you've published will appear. And the placeholder system. That is where you can create a placeholder for an article you're going to do later. It will appear in your to-do list. And when you click on that hot link, it will open the new template that you can then fill in. Cool, right? But there is one kind of third kind of way to link your articles together. I'm actually covering it up right now. So. I go this way. Uh huh. Do you see that purple button there? The purple inkwell. Uh huh. Uh huh. The purple inkwell is a great way to include more information when you're creating a, um, a new article within another article. So if I just want to write about something that I'm not sure if I want to do an article later about, I will use a placeholder. If I know that I want to write about it, and I already have some ideas, I will use this purple button. You can see it's a create new article form. So let's say, for example, we can just pop this back down by clicking the purple button again. Let's create some context for this. Whoa, I'm losing my green screen, people. Uh, so the context for this is Sticky is from a forest called, what do we call it? The Grognar Forest. Now, Let's say I want to create more information about the Grugnar Forest. I am going to create this new article right here called the Grugnar Forest. It's a forest which is a geographic location. And I can write about the Grugnar Forest. I can write myself notes in the vignette. Okay, so I've written a description there. I am going to make this a private article. I am going to select a category, which is going to be uh, geography. There we go. And uh, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to create my article. There we are. I have a very short article about the Grognor Forest. I now have a link. And you will recognize this from the placeholders link. So I have created an article within another article. It's made. I am going to copy this in here. And now, I'm going to save changes. Always save your changes. I'm going to view my person. And you will see that the full article, such as it is, now pops up. That's the information that I've written in that little form that pops up from the purple button. And um, yeah, it's really that simple. So this is a great way, this third way, using the purple button, is a fantastic way to link in articles that you already know a little bit about. You already want to expand on just a little bit as you're world building and keep that information safe. So just to recap, there is the mention system, that's at and then three letters. That's the fastest way to mention articles which are already published within your world, whether public or private. There's also the placeholder system, which links together articles that you will write. And provided that you spell that placeholder in exactly the same way every time you use it, all of those mentions will be linked together once you create that article, either by clicking the mention in one of your articles or by clicking it on the to-do list.
And third, of course, is the purple button. So you can create articles whilst you're creating other articles to make sure you keep your flow of ideas going and you don't lose anything. If you have questions about this, the best place is to ask on the Discord. That's worldandle.com forward slash Discord, where you can find our 24-7 help channel. You can also post um, uh, questions in the comments here. I will get to them when I can, but uh, it, there's a lot of you and it takes me a lot of time to go through all the questions. So if you want a quick answer, Discord is going to be your best bet. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps. If you didn't enjoy this video, please tell me why. This is a new format and I am trying to make these things better. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want more World Anvil videos, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We do World Anvil tutorials, world building inspiration videos. We do interviews with amazing creators and academics in the field. And uh, yeah, we do some announcements as well sometimes. So guys, that is all from me today. I'm going to invite you to grab your hammer and go world build! <laughs>